In this tutorial we're going to take a quick look at the graph mapper component and basically if we double click and type in graph mapper this is located under params input graph mapper um, it's a component that takes in a series of numbers or data and then outputs a series of numbers that and it transforms those numbers and, and re, kind of remaps them based on the graph ch type that you choose so um, first thing we can do is produce a range of numbers and so um, the range will be how many steps we want within that range so we could do one is less than let's say 30 and plug those in and then the domain uh, automatically is 0 to 1 so if we look at a panel we'll see what's coming out of this um, there'll be just two values if my step is 1 but as I increase this it'll uh, increase the number of steps within that uh, range so one really important thing with the graph mapper, if I right click you can choose the graph type and there's a whole bunch of graph types you can use. We'll just stick with uh, Bezier at this point, uh, but you can try different ones. And then one thing to note is this 0 to 1 domain. So if you double click on that you can actually change the X domain and the Y domain. So you're getting out X numbers and Y numbers and you can change that here, the domain here. So if you have numbers going in that are greater than one, you'll want to make sure that domain captures all of those numbers coming in, otherwise it'll just clip them at one. So we can plug these in here, and then we'll see um, as we get a, if we take a panel out of here, um, that we have new numbers coming out of here that are within zero to one based on the graph. So it's kind of reevaluating those and then spitting them out um, according to that graph. And so you can see also I have 10 steps and each of these lines corresponds to one of those steps and that's the value that it's spitting out at that step. So if it was a straight line it would spit out those exact same values but since it's this Bezier line it's um, readjusting those values accordingly. You can then use these values. So for example we could construct a point struct point and we could use these values let's say for the y value um, and then for the x value we could use these uh, original numbers and then if we zoom way in here we can see it starts to uh, use that curve and of course it's going from 0 1 to create those values and so as I change this graph it actually changes that curve now if you don't want it to fit within 0 to 1 you could either you know change the domain of this or you can just multiply these values so I could take a multiplication component and I could multiply those numbers and then let's do a slider that goes from 1 to less than like 30 and we'll just multiply all these numbers by 30 and we'll do the same thing for the x values coming in and then as we change this value you see it will increase in size according to that multiplication so we could really increase this if we wanted to let's go to like 300 okay and then we can um, adjust these values so it just makes it scale up basically and then of course we could always change the map type I could right click and do a um, a different kind of map type if I want but actually let's do this let's take um, this map and we'll copy it, the graph mapper, we'll right click and we'll do a different map type in this case I'll just do like a, how about right click graph type, how about a, like a sine wave actually let's right click graph type, let's do Perlin that'll be a much more complex graph and we'll do the exact same thing so we'll just copy Let's just copy and paste these points and we'll copy and paste this multiplication so that they're aligned with each other and then we will output these points as our y value and this will be our new y value and this will be our new x value so that gives us another set of points. So we could move those up if we wanted to. Let's just move these vertically. And 
let's give this a slider. One less than 40.00. Move this whole group of points vertically. Let's do it much more than that. And we can preview off the points before we move them and then create a line between these two different um, graph points here. You can see it then creates a line between those. So what's great about this is I could adjust you know, either of these graphs. I can even change the graph type. So I could right click and you know, go with like, um, let's say a conic graph and, and really adjust these points accordingly. And then all of this can be controlled by our number here. So I can increase or decrease the number of struts between them. Um, and really just, you know, value, like change this and evaluate the kind of shape I'm looking for by changing these graph types.